Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. There are some situations where we could use the formula for calculation of amount in compound interest. Here are a few. We can use the formula of compound interest in case there is an increase or decrease in population if the growth of bacteria has to be calculated if the rate of growth is known to find the value of an item if its price increases or decreases in the intermediate year Please read the question on the slide. It is an example of application of compound interest formula. The question reads, The population of a city was 20,000 in the year 1997. It increases at the rate of 5% per annum. Find the population at the end of the year 2000. From here, it is clear that rate of interest is 5% per annum. Principal amount is 20,000 and time would be from 1997 to the year 2000 so that would be 3 years now the question remains whether we should calculate simple interest or the compound interest to make it clear just understand that there is 5% increase in population every year so every new year has a new principal amount. That is, every new year we have a new population. And then on that principle, 5% increase is there. So the principal is changing and we can say that we will have to calculate compound interest. So, now we can write that population at the end of year 2000 would be equal to principal 1 plus R by 100 whole power N and let us substitute the values which will be equal to to 20,000 1 plus 5 by 100 whole power 3 which would be 20,000 note that I am not writing rupees as this time it's the population on finding the LCM here you will have to take the LCM this is 1 plus 1 by 20 so on calculation we get 21 by 20 which is equal to 20,000 multiplied by 21 by 20 21 by 20 
and once you will solve it you will get 23,152.5 so we will estimate it to be since population cannot be in points note our answer is in points but we know that population cannot be in points so we will write the estimated population would be 23,153 persons. Let us read the question on the slide. A TV was bought at a price of rupees 21,000. After one year, the value of the TV was depreciated by 5%. Depreciation means reduction of value. So find the value of the TV after one year. We are given that principal is rupees 21,000. Time is one year. And rate of interest is 5% depreciation that means it's reducing so it will not add to the value it will rather reduce the value so what we can do is we can take rate of interest to be minus 5% and then substitute in the formula so the amount after one year would be or otherwise the value of the TV after one year would be principal is rupees 21,000 1 plus so this will come out to be rupees 21,000 1 minus 5 by 100 and on solving you will get rupees 19,950 so the value of the TV after one year would be rupees 19,950 since there is a depreciation of 5% per year and when we take if value of anything is decreasing or there is a depreciation in that case we include a negative sign with the rate which turns plus minus minus and hence after calculation we get the value required There is another way of solving question number 15 according to which the principal was rupees 21,000 that was the cost of the TV then there was a reduction of 5% per annum five percent per annum and we had to calculate what will be the cost after one year so n is 1 so let us find out using the formula of simple interest let us find out what will be the decrease in rate of interest we have On solving that 
the amount by which the value will decrease of the TV would be 1050 rupees so value at end of value at end of the year would be equal to rupees 21,000 minus rupees 1050 as there is a depreciation and our answer will come out to be rupees 19,950 which is same as the answer in the previous way of doing so it is up to the student whichever way he would like to solve the same question.